new band of rebels arose who were determined to carry the fight to Jerusalem. The Sicarii. To the Sicarii. Anyone who wasn't fighting the Romans was a collaborator and worthy of death. Many were slain every day, and the fear men were in was worse than the calamity itself. Uh, shalom, first and foremost, to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Back at y'all with another Friday night class. Uh, I'm sure everybody at this point has heard about uh, what's happened to the to the God sent comforter. Okay, uh, a lot of grisly details coming out in regards to that situation. Uh, but I just want to talk. Uh, we'll talk about that briefly. Uh, Brother Deacon of Chicago we did a did a, a video about it. Um. Uh, when it broke, um, but I just want to kind of go go into some scriptures, just in regards to uh, something that I heard um, that multiple people who have came out from that organization have said in regards to some of the things that was going on. Uh, make sure we share this on Facebook. Also, uh, this faggot, okay, I'm alone talking about why don't you guys go deal with Tazadaki getting raided? And him saying he's the Holy Spirit, like like there's not so many faggots, freaks, and con artists in the whole in, in the whole Christian church. Are you are you kidding me? Yeah, and we say. and we deal. And, and the craziest thing is for vocab to have the nerve to say that is we get everybody knows about them. You know, people are crying talking about oh they're Israelite. Everybody knows them niggas are alienated from the entire them niggas and the Yahweh being Yahweh niggas is the total. Everybody knows like stay away from those guys. That's not a secret. Everybody knows they're the devil. There's no debate on whether or not the candy cane bunch, they call them, wear the red and white as the damn Rosicrucian, but they're not needed anymore. What do they need? What masses of people are they bringing in? See, when we was out there in New York City, when we was out there in New York, in Brooklyn, if y'all see the videos on our channel, when we're at Broadway Junction, we're in the subway station in Brooklyn with the brothers from AOC, some of the brothers from HOI, and the brothers from House of David. And we having that that camp in the in the subway station, the brother um the brother Moth Pagai, Ephraim, my brother from AOC, he had posted earlier in the day. Look, we're going to Broadway Junction. We having a unity camp in Broadway Junction. Everybody come out. Then all of a sudden, Comfy and them niggas pop out out of nowhere, and they outside in the red and white trying to teach people. But we're inside of the subway station. They're teaching people outside of the subway station. So he sees them as he's coming in because he gets there a little later than we do. But he had he had promoted it earlier in the day, which is how he believes they even found out about it anyway to know to even come there. You see what I'm saying? On his Facebook, because he got a lot of different people on his Facebook. So they come in. I mean, so when we coming out, we want to make sure we walk the brother to his car. Because last time, last time that uh, uh, they were anywhere where these other camps were at, Comfy and them started a huge fight in the park. If y'all remember um, ISUPK's cookout, not this last summer, but the summer before that, the one where Reggie was there and everybody was ganging up on Reggie, if y'all remember, was on sign of the TV. That time, Comfy and them showed up to that, and it was a huge fight with all the camps. You see what I'm saying? Against but Comfy and them came to start the fight with everybody. So we made sure, you know, we, we, we walked with the brother who had to walk past them. You see what I'm saying? In case, because that's what they're on. Because everybody knows that they're evil. You see what I'm saying? And they're so uh, uh, hell bent and they got such a demonic spirit, they'll, they'll try to put hands on a brother from another camp. Always. Always. GMS up in Harlem. They jump GMS up in Harlem. So they, they got multiple reports, so they just setting it off. They're not dealing with the scriptures rebuking, you ain't right, none of that. They're trying to put hands on you because that they're moving like an organized street gang. And that's why the like fans break it. Uh, put hands, uh, put on, hands on, put on and get out shot trying to kill people all the, all the time trying to kill them and that's exactly how them niggas move and that's why they get raided by the feds and we're supposed to feel sorry for them and we supposed to send up prayers for for a, a group of blasphemers give me that scripture he that blasphemed the holy ghost and we still treat him like brothers when we walk by and we still treat him like and then we went to eat for my brother uh, uh the brother ray and the brother ray is like look he said he shalomed him when he walked in they didn't say nothing. He shalom them when we walked out. They I was about to say, I shalom them he when shalom, they walked out. Right? And they looking like, 
And they say that, they, and they, and you know what I'm saying? They want to start trying to say little slick stuff and talk, you know, trash. Hey, I did my part. I still treated them like a brother. I extended a shallow arm to them. If they don't want to do it, what do you want me to do? Go and kiss their ass so that I could just try to be friends? Not what this thing is about. Yeah, but th that's why we're not, like, for some, for people to talk about brotherhood and, and quote unquote unity and, and, and things of that nature, of course, to a degree. But I mean, what I'm supposed to do with a group of niggas like that? Yes. Blasphemers. Who won't even accept a, a, a salutation of peace from you, but are supposed to be a part of the body of Christ? That's ridiculous. That's retarded. You see what I'm saying? So they they're like a Christian church, and they get raided, and the white man don't need them no more. The Rose, what do the Rosicrucians need them for? They didn't. They weren't drawing huge crowds at Broadway Junction. We had much more people listening to us at Broadway Junction than they did. So that the white man is done with them niggas. You see what I'm saying? So they coming to get they cash back. They got. You hear about you hear about this laundry list here? Two cribs in Hoboken, New Jersey. We know where all the Jay Z and them niggas live. Penthouse in Manhattan, mansion in Miami. That's the real estate. Kids, allegations of human trafficking out of the Dominican Republic. Sex with underage girls from the Dominican Republic. We talking about this is a lot of stuff here. You see what I'm saying? Chickens finally came home to roost. People are trying to play it like it's an L for the community and, oh, they're targeting the Israelite community. We're not worried about it. Feds start raiding. Number one, everybody don't even got schools. So if feds start raiding schools, I mean, unless they're planting things, what's, what criminal enterprises are brothers running where brothers got a drug and a whore ring running out of their school? Yeah, being that nobody got locked up, it's, it's more than likely they just want their money back that they gave them. That IRS, you see what I'm they saying? locked up? No, nobody got locked up, but they're saying uh, they're doing their, you know, their investigation. So maybe arrests will come in in coming months. So you know, we'll, we'll see. The real disciples are gonna get thrown in jail. That's right. So they might not get thrown in jail. They might just have to give some of that money up. Maybe liquidate that tour bus and a few of them home. Maybe something gets seized. You know, it is what we know how Esau work. That's what he do. You see what I'm saying? Somebody, uh, uh Bayan, you give me some water, bottle shot. Up the water. So if you could give me that though, this is why we don't feel sorry for any any wrong that comes to this group. And and and, and there's a whole lot of evil that's came with this group, and we're gonna touch on one particular type of evil, but go ahead. Book of Mark, chapter three, verse twenty-nine. Uh -huh. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I was shall who you call Christ said he that blasphemed the Holy Spirit. When this man said that he's the comforter, and Yahweh Shah said the Holy Ghost, matter of fact, hold that for me. Yash, get that. What is that? John 14 and 26. The water. Go ahead. You want me to keep going? Go, yeah, go ahead with that. Blaspheme against the Holy Spirit hath never forgiveness. Have never forgiveness. But is in danger of eternal damnation. You're in danger of eternal damnation and you uh, cannot be forgiven. You can be forgiven for a lot of things. Hypothetically, a homosexual can be forgiven by the Most High. Right? But a blasphemer of the Holy Ghost? Oh, no. That's not happening. You got that for me in John? Uh, Go ahead. This is John 14 and 26. Uh-huh. But the comforter. The comforter. Yahweh shall you call Christ in the comforter. Read. Which is the Holy Spirit. Which is the Holy Spirit. Not Tazadakia. The comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Read. Whom the Father will send in my name. Yahweh send Bahashem Mashiach Yahweh Shah. Read. He shall teach you all things. He shall teach you all things. Not Taza Blackula. Not Taza Daki. He's not going to teach you all you things. Say Taza Black, they it, yeah, now they're going to get mad because I'm light skinned. I'm calling him Taza Black. He's <laughs> the nigga's a vampire. <laughs> He's not a vampire. He's not sucking the blood. When you go and look, look at his uh his blowing of the trumpets video. He's in there. That devil Ari is in there. I said it. Uh Shar. This year? This, I want to say it's from 2012. And and Aria is up there, you know, blowing the damn trumpet. But you go and you look in that crowd, you know who's in that crowd? Old black and Puerto Rican women and their daughters. That's who the majority of that crowd is, not men. So they're sucking the lifeblood out of old women of the nation, just like any Christian church. It's full of old black and Latino women who are just up in there giving them all their damn money and being robbed. Dark, he's dark and wicked. <laughs> and he's dark and he's Darth Vader. <laughs> he's, he's Darth. <laughs> Darth Comfy. You see what I'm saying? Right? Read on. It says, 
and bring all things to remembrance. Bring all things to remembrance. That nigga didn't remember to bring his tax return to remembrance, apparently. So how is he the comforter? Huh? <laughs> so he... Whatsoever I have <laughs> said unto you. So that's what the comforter is, the Holy Spirit. So him taking himself on as a comforter is direct blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, what? He cannot be forgiven for that. So he sold out for that money, and now the white man wants his money back. And rightfully so, because the nigga ain't do a good job. All he did was deceive a bunch of silly women laden with iniquity, as is written. Hey, regular pa pastor could have did that. You see what I'm saying? But he got a bunch of them, them niggas probably ain't fit to do nothing. You see what I'm saying? If you ever seen him teach, I was just about to say, man, they're gonna like luster. Them dudes were literally looking like real life live <laughs> in the flesh demons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, from GMSC in Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real life, you're talking about demons popping. <laughs> hey, little nigga ain't had no hair on his head, no hair on his face, nothing. You see what I'm saying? Ephraim, I do no hair nowhere. <laughs> Look, he looking like a damn a damn shaved mole rat. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Puerto Rican mole rat out there, ridiculous, right? That was it on that. Uh, that and you finished that scripture, right? Okay. So let's uh give me um Salaki, give me uh, uh Psalms nine and sixteen. There, there's I read reports and I've heard this from many people, so it's not just uh, uh, uh something we made up or just one person said. That in there, and the people who are in there will vouch for this, who are active members of the ICGJC will vouch for this. What is their weekly requirement of payment in ICGJC? They're required to give double tithes and sometimes even triple. So they want 20 to 30% of your money plus additional fees every week to blaspheme the Holy Spirit. You know how crazy that we're gonna deal with that in a second, but give me that in the song. Book of Psalm chapter 9, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executes. Yahweh is known by the judgment that he executes. Okay. So this is something like because all that group is about is cash money. That's what he he's built himself on. Big uh 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 damn uh, uh tour bus with his damn face on it, all of that, right? He's about money, most high starting to get him for that money. Yahweh is known by the judgment that he does. Read. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. And this is what you're going to see. This raid is just lightweight. What you're going to see that's going to happen to these individuals in the end is going to be a result of the evil work of their own hands. Read it on. The wicked shall be turned into hell uh -huh. and all the nations that forget the most high and all the nations that forget the most high which is all the nations and the wicked of our people will be turned to hell or turned to the grave so if you could give me uh jeremiah 7 and 1 to 7. <clears throat> look at jeremiah chapter 7 verse 1. uh-huh it says the word that came to jeremiah from the, from yahweh saying uh-huh this came directly to the prophet jeremiah read stand in the gate of yahweh's house uh-huh and proclaim we there standing amongst our word. people. We standing in the gate. We standing amongst these brothers who claim to be teachers and know it in the truth. The prophet Jeremiah was sent to say what? And we gonna reiterate these words. Read and proclaim there these this word uh -huh. and say, hear the word of Yahweh, all ye of Judah, all ye of Judah. Read that enter in at the gates uh -huh. to worship Yahweh. Read on. You you allege that you entering into the gates to worship the Most High. Read on. It says, thus said Yahweh of hosts, uh -huh. the God of Israel. Amend your ways and your doings. Fix your damn self. Read on. And I will cause you to dwell in this place. And I will cause you to dwell in this place. Right? So we're going to show you why niggas like Comfy are the reason why we're in Babylon right now. Okay? Because we would be dwelling in our place if it wasn't for certain behavior. If we would amend our ways. What does amend mean? Who knows what amend means? Fix our ways. Fix our ways right? Read. Repair. Amend. That's what it means. Go ahead. Verse 4, trust ye not in lying words. Trust ye not in lying words. Saying, the temple of Yahweh, uh -huh. the temple of Yahweh. That's what they said the ICC was. The only place where you can uh, meet God. They say, if you, if you are in, if they see anybody out there who's not in the ICGJC, you know what they're going to say? You're in a rebel group. And you're not following the God sent comforter. And Ariah, he's with us. That's their number one trump card. Ariah, he's with us. Everybody get mad because we one of the few groups 
that will boldly talk against Aria the way we do it. Made how many? How many? Uh, uh, Deacon, how many videos we done made against Aria by now? Oh, by at least ten videos. We the only ones who's gonna get on Aria. Period. Because that nigga sold out, and he did a wicked disservice to the nation. Now he did plenty of service to the nation, but that doesn't matter after he does a disservice. Now the work that he did was good. We still have, but as far as for him. Soon as you turn from that good that you did to bad, it's over for you. So they say, look, we got REI. This is the temple of the Lord. Most High said, trust not in those lying words. Read. The temple of Yahweh are these. Uh-huh. For if ye, if ye. Number one, they saying that Yahweh is not the name of the Most High in the ICGJC. They saying we don't know the name of the Most High. And Yahweh Shai's name is really Yahweh. This is what they teach. So they'll just, they just say, Abba now, our father. They won't say his name. They say we don't know the name. Another lie and a heresy that they teach. That's why they just say that the Israelite church of God in Jesus Christ. They're just using them terms. Verse 5. For if ye truly amend your in your doings, uh -huh. if ye truly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, uh -huh. if ye oppress not the stranger. If you do what? Oppress not the stranger. If you thoroughly execute judgment and oppress not. Somebody, you walking into a damn building and they tell you they need double ties. You know what that is? That's oppression. You're being oppressed if somebody tells you they need 20% of your money. That's oppression. Period. It's Outscam. Outscam.com is reporting this group as a scam organization. A scam church. Okay, so let's read about some of this good oppression that they're doing amongst their people. Come on. Right here. Okay. So... Uh, this was written October a year ago. Okay, so far before the Fed started kicking those in, I was introduced to this organization at the tender age of 19 by my ex-husband, a credit store and gift card schemist, a clever con artist. I was in the cult for 19 years and endured unexplainable depression, abuse, humiliation, and embarrassment. Um, I'm gonna just get to the points. Um. I have paid 20% of my salary to that place for over 15 years, and I'm a licensed professional. So, so gave it. Uh, I make I make 45 to 55 thousand a year. Uh, as if that's not enough, there are several other financial obligations, such as a $60 for every high holy day, and there are seven of them. Not to include that you were charged for a family gathering in the summer, $60 each for all children, two and under. Uh. Uh, priest funds, $25 a week. So listen, you, you're giving 20% of your money, then you have to give 25 additional dollars a week for the priest funds. Um, dollar drive every Friday and Saturday. So you got to give an additional dollar every Friday and Saturday. So that's, we're talking about 20% of your money plus $27. Uh, 400 700 and $1,500 garments. Spiritual evaluation around income tax time, $200 after you pay your tithes on your income tax. So now you got to get your, let's say you might get an income tax, you might get $7,000 back on income tax, right? So then you $700, no, you're giving $1,400 tithes because it's double tithes. Then you're giving an additional $200 for your, uh, uh, plus a spiritual evaluation. We're talking about two, you see what I'm saying? You only getting you only going home with five of, them, right? So let's hear let's hear more about this atrocity. Well, watch this: five hundred dollar raffle tickets that I'm sure are mandatory buys. The emotional and mental abuse is unbelievable. You know she goes on to just with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, uh, did, you, did you read the comment part? Huh? Did you read the garment? Part? Yeah, 400, 750, and $1,500 garment. Are you insane? Now, watch this. He says, uh, Black Icon Entertainment is a fake LLC. This was also written in October 2015, over a year ago. Made by Jermaine Grant, which is the government name of Taza Blackula or Taza Dakia, the leader of the Israelite Church of God and Jesus Christ. Black Icon Entertainment is funded solely and entirely off of the incomes of the church members. According to the church, I was a member for six years. The members are required to give at the minimum 20% of their income to Jermaine Grant. 
Upon further investigation, he has absolutely no clients with Black Icon Entertainment and uses it to basically launder money that he gets from the 4,000 church members at their uh, and their income. Their websites are fake, unclickable affiliate, uh, affiliate advertisements, and it's impossible for them to make any money off of their traffic as their ratings are below even a 12-year old-fashioned blog. Please be aware that Jermaine Grant is a master manipulator and is living off of funds from his innocent and usually poor congregation. So now we understand that he has a church and now he has a business and at his business, he's utilizing his business to launder the money from the church. And that's why the IRS kicked in the door because the, the, the headquarters for the church doubles as the headquarters for the uh, business, Black Icon Entertainment. So we're dealing with major oppression of the people of Israel, of the flock of the Lord. So let's go back to that in Jeremiah 7. Jeremiah 7 and 6, if you oppress not the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, uh -huh. and shed not innocent blood in, in this place, Read. neither walk after other gods to, to your hurt, uh -huh. then will I And that's what they have them in there, too. That's why they had him, uh, he made a goddamn voodoo talk of himself. Right. And he got mad they made it too light-skinned. If y'all remember years ago, they had Comfy and do the voodoo doll, the water. They had Comfy do the voodoo doll, right? Or the, or, or the comforter doll, right? So go ahead. Then will I cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers then forever we'll, and ever. If we're not in that place because of this guy. Not just because of him, because of guys like him and this type of sinful behavior. That's why we're not in Israel right now, because niggas just want to oppress and rob their own people. Don't stop and yeah, and it don't stop. It goes deeper than that. And it, it's all over Israel. Spotlight's on Comfy right now. But you got guys that's really doing this in Israel, extorting people. You see what I'm saying? Robbing people, waxing fat and living fat off the saints, as it's spoken about, just like the white man doing. They're looking at it like that's what the average drug dealer is thinking. Well, damn, I mean, white man getting rich off of destroying these people. Why don't I do the same thing? Get rich off of destroying these people and get out of there. That's what Lil Wayne doing, which we're going to talk about him in a damn minute as well. Another demon. Another coon. We're going to get to him. His, his baby mom told on him. Right? Yeah, so, right. <laughs> so finish that in Jeremiah. She lied like a lot. Of you finish that in Jeremiah? Come, come, come. It says uh, we're going down to seven, right? Yes, sir. Then will I cause you to dwell in this place. And then will I cause you, read. And in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. Uh-huh. That, that was seven. seven. All right. So let's go to, um. give me 2 Corinthians 9 and 7. Second. Yeah, 2 Corinthians 9 and the, uh, the seventh verse. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. Uh-huh. It says, every man according to his purposes. It's like, Every man according as he proposeth in his heart. Purposive in his heart. Pur purposive? Yeah. Yeah, purposive. Uh-huh. It's not proposive because he's, okay, he's, he's, he's this is his purpose. Uh -huh. Every man according as he pur purposeth in his heart, so let him give. Mm -hmm. Not grudgingly mm -hmm. or of necessity. Mm -hmm. For the most high loveth a cheerful giver. A cheerful giver. You're supposed to give as you are compelled to give. Now, is there a, if you're going to go according to tithes, tithes, of course, is a 10% thing. If you want to give a increase on that, if you to, to, to mandate 20% and even 30%. I heard that these dudes, I heard this. I don't know if this is true. I heard these dudes for a time were asking for 30% tithes so they can take the money and utilize it to build a UFO. I heard this. <laughs> I heard this. And I believe it in all honesty. But do I know this to be true? I, from what I understand, that there's a video of the nigga trying to make the UFO. I don't know this to be true, but I, I promise you I heard it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Could be true, could not be true. It sounds plausible coming from this band of rebels here, these band of devils. Right? But you're supposed to be a cheerful giver. I'm not, you're not supposed to force somebody to pay a whole bunch of money. We're not the goddamn white man. You, you really supposed to just want that brother to give what he feels. If he, if he is so hateful in his heart that he don't want to give nothing, 
then let that be on him. You see what I'm saying? The Lord loved a cheerful giver. He rewarded a cheerful giver. If, if you're being forced to give 20% and you don't really want to, but you just feel like you're being forced into it, the Lord is not going to reward you for that. You know why? Because you didn't want to do it. <laughs> You're just doing it out of because you out of necessity. You feel like because it's out of necessity, as opposed to I feel compelled to give to the church because you know this is I know this is going to help the body. Be exactly, purpose if in your mind. Now here's the thing though: if you at Comfy's church and you have half a goddamn brain, you know you're not just giving to the you're giving directly to Comfy. He's putting that in his pocket. He's going to one of them cribs in Jersey. He's going down to Miami to a mansion. He's going to a penthouse in Manhattan, and he's having sex with underage Dominican girls. That's what the story. That's how the story is. You see what I'm saying? If you've been around, they said that this dude got the little girls sitting up like on stage with him, talking about these are the holy women, these little Dominican girls. This is what I'm hearing. You see what I'm saying? Talking about these are the holy women, and they sitting by and before the whole congregation. Club and strip club, so it's not far fetched, right? They said he had, he got the white girl with the towel, <laughs> wiping him down. Yeah. <laughs> he had the white girl with the towel. That he's in the club with. I'm talking about living a lavish lifestyle. You see what I'm saying? All, all the ice on, hopping out of street. You see what I'm saying? And and you and you're dumb enough to join this Israelite group. <clears throat> if this is the Israelite groups video to get you to join recruitment video i understand if you're trying to get into a rap label <laughs> you see what i'm saying Dude, this is an israelite group here this is the oh yeah you got some officer go ahead I. this is proverbs 11 and 28 uh-huh it says he that trusted in his riches shall uh -huh. fall you see that and that's what's happening to tazadakia he trusted in his riches that's why he's going to jet setting all over the damn world right he trusted in his riches and he's going to fall even if this is not his fall He's going to fall, thus saith the Most High God, for his blasphemy. Go ahead, officer. But the righteous shall flourish as a branch. The righteous is going to flourish as a branch. You may be broke. You may be destitute. You may not be the biggest winner in the world, the greatest nigga in the world, the most. You might be a little bit of a fixer-upper. You might not have a multi-million dollar tour bus or, or however much it is with your goddamn face on it like a rap star. Right? Trying to be think you're money on the money team. But the Lord, he going to make you to flourish still. You see what I'm saying? Well, not in this worldly sense. He going to make you to flourish in the world to come, in an incorruptible world. That nigga's received a corruptible crown, and his name has been written in the earth. That's why it's on the side of that damn tour bus. His name has been written in the earth. Most high going to cause men's name to be written in the book of life, in the heavens. Right? You have something? Is there a brother, one dude, uh, this is this is the video I seen before I was in the truth, but he was going at it in the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. He didn't he didn't he didn't want to he didn't really get on because he's under Yeah, he don't really get on Esau. Oh. He just kinda questioned him. He didn't yeah. really do him like how we do him. Yeah. Exactly. When the Mormons had rolled up. Yeah, he yeah. also Yeah, in front of the Burger King. Now if you notice, if y'all go, this video, it might be on YouTube, but if if it's not, if you can't find it on YouTube, you can probably find it on E Bomb's World, where he was on Jerry Springer. Going at it with the KKK. Anybody seen that video? Yeah. You see that video? He's going at it with the. That's what that was before he was the God sent comforter. You see what I'm saying? He was just a young brother in the school at that time that had been appointed to go and do that. So you see the fire he's cursing he saw out. You see he's in a totally different spirit against the Mormons because he got a bag from the white man. White man paying you all that money. That's why you think these niggas in the NBA ain't just coming against the white man. White man giving you all this money, you're gonna feel some type of way about just coming against him. He's your he, 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 I mean, white man, he he got me out the hood. You see what I'm saying? He got me living good. The Seahawks locking hand. You know why? Cause because Pete, because hey, because hey, Pete, because Pete, hey, Pete's the coach, man. I mean, all white people ain't bad. What about Coach Pete? You see what I'm saying? Ridiculous. See, a gift destroyed thought, which we're gonna get all over Lil Wayne, and a lot of that's gonna come out. This nigga is he's he won't be he won't stop. Yeah, I seen that video of him probably was a kid. I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, you got the truth, you like, again, like that nigga's weak. <laughs> so soft, what are you doing? He's weak. You see what I'm saying? He's and he's not a he's not a powerful, there's nothing prolific about him. That's the craziest thing about it. Y'all took literally ask any go to go to GMS, go to IUIC, go to ISUBK. Ask them dudes that was up in that school that's up in them schools running that school now. Who tells it? They'll tell you that's a water boy. 
that nigga used to get water and be a security guard for elders in the, in the school for the seven. That's literally, he wasn't a general. He wasn't any of that. And he was propelled to be the God that comforter. You know how crazy that is? That's what money will do. And Ariane Shaw, it's Shaw, it's those old blasphemous demonic niggas' faults. Because they wanted the money. Let's not get it twisted. They wanted that cash. So they said, we're going to take this cash and we're going to propel this little nigga up. You know why? Because as long as they're not at the forefront and they're not teaching, you know what they can do? Enjoy the money. If you got to do Sabbath service every week and you got to worry about all the functions of the school, how are you going to enjoy all that money? And Jet said, and you have to be able to be an old nigga who can go back and forth to the islands and do whatever you want. You're not going to be able to do it. So they said, we're going to appoint this young nigga. Let him worry about that, how that's run. And we're going to go blow all this damn money and live in a wax fat. You see what I'm saying? And now they're going to say it's a it's persecution. That's what he's saying. He's saying, I, I heard it's persecution. Whatever. That was it on, on that in Corinthians? Uh, Give me Exodus 25 and 2. Look at Exodus chapter 25, verse 2. Uh -huh. Speak unto the children of Israel. Uh, speak to the black Hispanic Canadian, read. That they bring me an offering. Uh huh. And every man that giveth it willingly. What? With, willingly. Not by for. Not I'm forcing you to give me 20% of your money so I can drive around on, on a tour bus and go to the club and just have every woman I want and w walk around in some damn $1,000 garment. 30%, 30% tie and build a, a Project Blue Beam UFO to fly off and in, into another I think world. Yeah, because I, I heard that. I heard that from a uh, UPK that he was trying to build a UFO. You see what I'm saying? So I mean, it, it's not as it's, it's crazy as these as wicked as they are. It's not. It's not far fetched to think they tried to build a UFO. These niggas are crazy. You see what I'm saying? But if you're the guy said comfortable, can't you just call a won't a chariot just come and you just have your own personal chariot? Won't the Lord give the comforter a chariot, his own vehicle for transportation, so he could go and teach everybody all things? We call it GOCC the we misspoke. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> but see, the reason why we misspoke is because I see GJC, you don't even think about the niggas, man. I remember when I was first coming into truth and, and, and learning, I'm gonna tell y'all like this. My own personal testimony. The first video I seen that woke me up to the truth was on World Star Hip Hop, right? So I see it on World Star, but I don't know any. I just know they're talking about where the Hebrews are. I don't know that there's different groups, factions, divisions. I know none of that. So I start like just YouTube and Hebrew Israelites. First people I run into is Comfy and them. So I'm watching. I watched Comfy teach a few videos, and it was something about him like he just reminded me of a church pastor. He was just talking in circles a lot. I know I picked up on it. So then I seen a video, or somebody showed me a video of some of Comfy's dudes, and they were like hella iced out with the iced out shields, and and I was like, these, it's, this looks like a rap video. Like this doesn't look right to me. You see what I'm saying? Just and this is literally weeks into the truth. This doesn't look right. But what they were doing was. They were talking about GMS and they were like shooting it on the phone or, or on the, on the, on the camcorder, but they had aimed the angle of it at the, at the computer screen. So when they did it and I seen the YouTube channel, that's how I even found GMS's videos because they had put the angle of the camera on the screen and I seen the YouTube name on it. And that was literally before they were officially called great millstone when they literally just had a YouTube channel that was called great millstone. It was GR8 Millstone. So that's how I even got really, because the first video I seen was GMS, but I didn't know how to get back to them. I was just running into Comfy. So that's how I even knew. But I could just tell by just looking at them, brand new, soaking, <laughs> wet behind the ears in the truth, these niggas, they're not right. Whatever they got going on, that ain't, that's not what I'm looking for. You see what I'm saying? So it, that's why they just get so forgotten <laughs> about, because they're just so weak. But this brother's right on point. They're the weakest. Israelite group of all time. They won't stand in battle with you. They won't debate with you. They just believe that, listen, I'm with the comforter. I'm with REI and Shar, and that's it. You see what I'm saying? And well, that's fine. All right. When 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 the most high judges you to hell with 
what the feds is going to do. What is the most high going to do? When the most high judges you more and more, deal with that. Let's see what the comforter can comfort you in that position. You see what I'm saying? That was it on 25 and 2. Nah, that Go ahead. Gi that giveth it willingly with his heart, he shall take my offering. He shall take my offering. Or ye shall take my offering. Willingly with your heart, not by force. Lesson on that? That was it on that. Okay, let's. You got the next one. Yeah. Philemon. Okay, go ahead. Philemon. People don't read Philemon. Go ahead. They don't even know that's in the Bible. <laughs> average, <laughs> average person. You ask. <laughs> Obadiah, Philemon, Haggai. Niggas don't even know about those books. You know. But go ahead. Third John. Yeah. The water. I think they. I think we don't go into Philemon less than Third John. <laughs> you know. Philemon. Yeah, they don't know that's in the Bible. Um. Pick a book of Philemon verse or yeah, but chapter one verse fourteen. But uh -huh. without thy mind would I do nothing. But without thy mind would I do nothing, that thy benefit should not be as it were of necessity, uh -huh. but willingly. But well, again, willingly. Not I'm forcing you to give me thirty percent tides to create a UFO. Right? To fly into who knows what. Cause he knows he's got a missile with his damn name on. He's trying to, he's trying to escape. That's the thing, man. Niggas trying to leave. They know they're wicked. They're trying to leave it. They're trying their best to escape it. But Israel always been trying to escape judgment, bro. That's why. Well, get 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 Amos nine. <laughs> get Amos nine, cause this Amos nine, Charles a doc here. Now he's his face. I'm seeing that face, that face with no beard on it. I'm seeing it just pop up into my head. Comforter, God said comforter came, didn't have a beard. Imagine that. You see what I'm saying? Crazy. <laughs> Give me that in Amos 9. A lot of people think it's talking about the white man. Well, it's talking about you that's niggas. How you know that's from the losing verse of the episode real. Because it's like, okay, my nigga, you're a comforter. And people believe it. That's how you know. It's a strong losing. It's strong delusion. It's all of it's, it's all the most high. The I would choose their delusion. Right, right. If the prophet be deceived, I have deceived that prophet. And I deceive the people that's following him. He just don't. He just don't want him. Oh, right? here you see that Most High Yahweh man. If y'all don't realize he's in control of everything, that's your damn fault. Is is the God sent comforter? He's reveling. Scripture speak about reveling the God sent comforter, who's to teach us all things and to bring all things in our remembrance. Is in the club, iced out. <laughs> did, did, did the Lord say the Comforter shall come in banqueting and righteous living and revel? I didn't read that in the gospel. You see what I'm saying? Where is that at in the prophecies? Crazy. Go ahead. See, but he what they did was not a new thing. Because who else does that? Who else does that? Who else do they say the Comforter is? They did this. I'm talking about what we mean year two in 2016. They did this. You said what? I don't know what they say, Haley Selassie, but they say that Muhammad is the is the company. They say that's who he saw. That's who Yahweh Shai is talking about. He talking about Muhammad is the comforter that came and he gave you the Quran to comfort you. You see that depth is. You see what I'm saying? So they'll do this. It, it, it wasn't a new occult. Tactic, you know that 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 ICGJC did. It's old. You see what I'm saying? But now you got the real faces there. You see what I'm saying? But go ahead. It says, uh, start at one. Amos nine and one. Uh huh. I, I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and He said, "Smite the lintel of the door, uh -huh. that the post may shake." Read on. And cut them in the head. Uh huh. All of them. And I will slay the last of them with the sword. I will slay the last of them with the sword. That's talking about you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Read on. He that flee of them shall flee, he shall that not run. flee away. You try to escape, you're not going to escape. Read. And he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. You're not going to be delivered. Saved. It's talking about judgment coming to Israel. Read. Right. Though they dig into hell. Though you try to dig into caves in hell. Read. Then shall mine hand take them, take them. Now, it says, take them. though thy dig into hell, you're going to hide in the caves. Let me tell you something. The white man is a cave person, right? But I'm going to tell you where Israel used to love to hide in. We didn't live in caves, but we would hide our asses in caves. 
Now you have a shot guy, and that was the point I was making because he said, he said, though they dig into hell, but didn't they say Yahweh Shai was in hell? I thought he went to hell and slapped Satan. That's what I heard. No, he was in a cave in a grave. That's hell down there. It's the earth, right? So he's in hell. Go ahead. It says, though they dig into hell, then shall, I, then shall mine hand take them. The Lord is going to find you in a cave somewhere. He'll find you and kill you. You see what I'm saying? You'll be in a cave thinking you hiding in a stalagmite fall off the top of that damn cave and stick you like you uh, like buffy the vampire slayer right so go ahead though they climb up to heaven and until then, i bring them down what what's that show they used to have on spike tv like a a, a thousand ways to die or something like mm -hmm. that. Mo, that all that 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 show should have just been called the judgment of the lord <laughs> the more lord would just get you take you out anyway take you like i said uh uh, uh when we was at camp on sunday Dealing with the Dia de los Muertos and Halloween, it's like, yeah, you, 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 you can have a great day. Go to church, go to brunch <laughs> after church with your family. Go through a leisurely stroll downtown, and die on the way home in a horrific car accident. And you think you didn't do anything wrong? The Most High just pulled your ticket at that time. That's how the Lord's judgment works. He might not get you right there. He's not. He may not get you on Halloween night when your kid is going door to door and worshiping Satan. He may not get you there, but he's going to get you, right? So go ahead. It says, uh, and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search them. I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall So I can read that again from the top? And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel. They're going to go, Carmel is what? What is Carmel? Crowd. Who know Carmel? Carmel? I know you know. <laughs> Carmel is a mountain in Israel, a bit, right? Uh, 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 who's from Carmel? Name me a famous person from Carmel. You know? Who knows? Abigail, right? Remember when David got Abigail? It said Abigail the Carmelitis, right? It was a, 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 a mountain in Judah. You see what I'm saying? Uh, there's a church I used to attend, a, 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 a good old Catholic church I used to attend in my younger days called Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So Carmel was a mountain in Judah where they say fine women came from. So, um, uh, uh, but our people would go up in there to hide. You might try to go and dig into the caves in Carmel. You might try to go into the damn top of Carmel, read. That's how you know it ain't talking about nobody else. It's talking about our land. So read. I will search and take them out thence. The Lord is gonna search and take you out thence, right? Read. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea. You could go and dive into the damn ocean. Comfy could have invested in a submarine. A U-57. What's that movie that came out? U-57? He could have got a damn U-57 submarine trying to go to the bottom of the goddamn Atlantic Ocean. What's the most high going to do? This will I command the serpent, and he shall bite the them. The thing going to come out of a damn cavern somewhere deep in the blackness of the ocean that you can't even fathom. Come out of there, boom, and gobble you up. They talk about they don't they talk about ain't no damn sea monsters. You don't know there's parts of the ocean that you that there is not a piece of technology can dive to the depths of that place. You don't know what type of wild beast the most high got down there, ready to gobble you up and kill you. Do you think these beasts ain't gonna kill the white man? There's beasts that are going to kill the white man, brother. And I, I just want to see it. Scripture speak about Leviathan playing. What's that scripture? Leviathan shall play. He gonna play with you. He gonna play with the white. He used to play with them. If y'all remember when they used to have them pirates, the white man used to be coming over here robbing our brothers of the Northern Kingdom all their gold. You think the damn sea monsters were sinking some of them damn ships? They had sea monsters coming and sinking them goddamn ships. Man. All right, squid, giant octopus, twenty thousand leagues under the sea, all of that, and killing the white man. And that's going, and it's gonna happen to the wicked of our people as well. Nigga like goddamn Jermaine Grant with some money who think he can run away from the Lord's judgment. The Lord is going to get and see his ass no matter what he does. You had a point, Cap? Okay, so let's go to uh, uh, 2 Corinthians. Back to 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 8 and 12. Well, the 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 12. Mm -hmm. for, if there be the, for if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a, a willing, man had. The willing mind is acceptable in, to the Most High, not the unwilling mind. 
So don't do things unwillingly. Do it willingly. All right? Be it willingly because if you're just doing it, you know, for the sake of doing it, but you don't really want to do it, the most high, he's going to deal with you. We've seen it. We've seen guys who unwillingly do things and, and do things just because it's what everybody else is doing. And we've seen the most high get rid of those niggas every time. Get rid of them and have them niggas going into whatever the hell they're going into. All right? Either into some madness or into whatever boring life they want to live. You see what I'm saying? So go ahead. Is accepted according to that a man hath. That's not accepted. Uh-huh. And not according to that he hath not. Uh-huh. Not according to that he hath not. Also meaning what? You might not be a brother that can give uh, an ample amount of money. You maybe can only give a little bit of money. But according to what you can give, that that you do give willingly, the Most High accepts that. It doesn't matter if you, if you let's say you made $20 in a week's time and you came to give $2 to, to, to the body. You're going to give $2. Boom. But this dude had made $1,000 and he's given $100. But you really are giving, it, it, it may seem like it's nothing, $2. But that $2 that you gave, which is the literal equivalent to the $100 that the next man give, if you do it willingly, yours is more accepted and the most high is going to bless you more than the man that gave $100, which is technically monetarily more. Or 50. Or 50. Like I said, brother, that, the dude that made 1000 only gave 50 and you made 20 and you gave two. Your two is more accepted than that 50, even though that 50 is more than your $2. He, let's say he gave 200 Let's say he gave more. In ten percent, but it was it wasn't willingly. Your two dollars is more acceptable than a hundred times of it. a thousand, whatever number you want to multiply to. You see what I'm saying? So now let's go to uh, Zechariah for me. Let's go to Zechariah seven and read eight to fourteen. Zechariah chapter 7, verse 8. And the word of Yahweh came unto Zechariah, saying, Thus speaketh Yahweh of hosts, saying, Execute true judgment and show mercy and compassion every man to his brother. Uh huh. Execute true judgment and show mercy and compassion every one to his brother. Read. And oppress not the widow. And oppress not the widow. Again, go look at these men's videos. Go look at this camp's video. You know what you're going to see? Old women up in there, widows up in there, women who do not have a man around to instruct them to stay the hell away from a pimp and a vampire. That ties a doctor, which is why we call him ties a blackula, because he sucks the blood, which is the life force out of people. You have men and women who have killed themselves. Specifically, I know about men who have been up in their organization and been through so much hell in the ICGJC that they took their own lives. Read. It says, um, and oppress not the widow, nor the fatherless, uh -huh. the stranger, nor the poor. That's what's happening. That's what he's doing in there. Oppressing. Read. And let none of you imagine evil against his brother in your heart. That's all they're doing there. Go ahead. But they refuse to hearken. They refuse to hearken. ICGJC refused to hearken. Read on. And pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears uh -huh. that they should not hear. Read on. Yay. They made their hearts as an uh, as an Adam. adamant stone, uh -huh. lest they should hear the law and the words which Yahweh of hosts have sent in his spirit uh -huh. by the former prophets. Therefore, it came a great wrath from the from Yahweh of hosts. Yeah, that's right. Great wrath is coming. Go ahead. Getting raided is not great wrath. The great wrath that's appointed to them by the Most High is coming, right? And and is no forgiveness for that nigga comfort. There's no forgiveness for Aria. There's no forgiveness for Sean. All right? I'm going to say that straight. Because usually we'll say what? At least they repent, right? But we already read Yahweh Shah say there's one thing you can't be forgiven for. And they actually did it. These niggas jumped out the window and actually did the thing that you're not supposed to do. And that's a hard thing to do. With all the wickedness and all the evil and all the sins that you could be committing, you mean to tell me that's what you're going to do? The thing that you can't turn back from with all the evil in this world? What type of idiot are you? Go ahead. What right. type of money hungry? 
that Tyler Dockett must have not never had a goddamn thing his whole life. That's clear. Anything that'll motivate you to take that bag for to do that, you must have really never had nothing. You're better off leaving the truth and going and selling dope. You can still be, you have a better chance of being forgiven for doing that than this. And you could have got you some bread. And you could have did all those things that you, we saw him do, pulling up and stretch limos and having all the women. You sold dope. You could have did that. But what do you want to do? You want to do a worse sin than even that? You want to blaspheme the Holy Ghost? That's retarded. So GMS would say some of them, not all of them. I got the proof of some of them saying that, uh, <clears throat> you know, that Jacob Blas, you know, Holy Spirit. But GMS would say that only a heathen can only a the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. because it says you won't be forgiven in this life or the next. Mm -hmm. So they'll they'll what, say that. What say you about that? What would I say about that? As far as the reasoning they for them saying they it they can't bless you the holy spirit because it says he won't be forgiven in this life or the next well number one that wouldn't make any sense because what would even be the point of yahweh shai making the statement at the end of the day let's say esau blaspheme the holy who cares what esau does well esau can't receive forgiveness or <laughs> at all so how can that be talking about? So now they would have to change the doctrine to, well, that goes for the heathens outside of uh, Esau, the other 16 nations. And exactly. Beautiful. So re read that, Matthew, because we have to think about the audience, Yahweh Shai. You know, when is Yahweh Shai in the Gospels talking to not Israel? When is that happening in the Gospel? When is he not delivering a message to Israel? That's what they would have to show. When is he talking to Esau? I mean, other than his discourse with Pontius Pilate, when is he dealing with Esau? Uh, when he's speaking about Herod, when he's speaking about the rich man. Yeah. Calm, beautiful. But outside of that, but even then, he's talking to Israel. So if he's saying, matter of fact, let's pull that up about the, um, the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. Let's just take a look at the context of what's going on. Let's take a look at that chapter. Let's take a look at who the audience is. Because what's the relevance of him making that statement to a crowd of Israelites? I believe what the Bible said. I believe that the Lord might just destroy your spirit. Which is exactly where we were going to go. It, he could if he wants to. Yeah. He said that, but people, people have a hard time. They get messed up. They get all messed up about it. But but he could. Or that could just be in reference to your everlasting shame and contempt, the contempt that you get. That could be, you could be on such a low level in the kingdom, which of course you would still be above a heathen, but that could be it as well. You see what I'm saying? But you mean to tell me that the only people that could blaspheme? So then, then it bears to mind, what is blasphemy of the Holy Ghost then? If you are a man in flesh and blood, and you could go around and say that you are the Holy Spirit, that's not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? If that's not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, then what is? Can, can we get defined that? Because didn't one of them niggas try to tell us that uh, painting Caesar Bozier as 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 Christ oh, is yeah. blasphemy of the Holy Spirit? Which yeah. what does that have to do with the Holy Spirit? Because they believe that was the Holy Spirit. You see that? Which is a problem because you're depicting what flesh and blood. You're not depicting a Holy Spirit. You're depicting flesh and blood as falsely. And Yahweh Shai said, "What? Whatever you say about me shall be forgiven." Whatever you say about the Father, you can say you're Christ or God and be forgiven. That's how you know he's not because you know he made a clear differentiation. You see, that's the see the walls niggas hit when they just say things. And why do they say it, though? So they can worship Ariah with Tahar. That's the only reason they say it, because Tahar says Ariah is a man of the Lord, and Ariah did that. He looked at that man and said, I am so glad the comforter is here. You see that? We'll change the Bible. We'll change the words of our Savior to save a man on the earth who took some money to sell all of us out and all of us down the river. And you know why Ariel said he's so glad the comforter was here? Because that money comforted him. <laughs> he got comfort in that money. He probably got, he hugged all the money he got. 
So that comforted him. So that's why he was so glad for all the damn money he got. Not that, not that the Holy Spirit was in this dude who just used to get your damn water. The water boy is the Holy Spirit now. You see what I'm saying? That's insane. Uh, wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. For whosoever speaketh against the Holy Spirit, it shall not be forgiven of him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Which is, the, which is what? Eon? Now, that's the thing too, though. If it's the Eon... Every time he comes back, that he's a two-thirds seal. He's 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 screwed. You see what I'm saying? Like you said, so that would make. See, as a period of time, age. Yeah, like we because we because we know what it is because the eon then and the eon to come, like you said, we're even in the eon past that, so it would just be in the eons. You see what I'm saying? It's clearly a two-third. You're gonna be able to identify him as. You're not gonna make it. Tazadak, I'm not going to go out and say, nigga, you ain't going to make it. Uh, but Tazadak, you're not going to make it. REI, you, you niggas ain't going to make it for that. You see what I'm saying? Those are individuals you can definitively say, I don't know if I'm going to make it, but you niggas, for that, you're not going to make it. You see what I'm saying? We, ain't gonna, we definitely can't say who's going to make it, but I can definitely tell you, them niggas is not right, going so to make it. Right, so can't try to play that like it's talking about the kingdom of heaven, so it can only apply to the heathen. Eon, because it's talking about Eon. You see what I'm saying? Talking about an eon. That was 2,000 years ago. You see what I'm saying? Throughout three to four generations. So within every uh, couple hundred years. You see what I'm saying? Two, around about 210. Egypt. You see what I'm saying? You see that? For a grand proof of reincarnation right there. Yahweh Shai gave you a lot of cold precepts. All you got to do is read it. You read him, he's going to tell you everything you need to know. You see what I'm saying? So that that's plain and clear. Matter of fact, but let's go up. What we at in that that was what uh, Mark 13, Matthew, Matthew 13. Matthew what we at? Matthew Hold on, 12. go back, go back to it. See this what that's saying too. The Lord will kill that breath. It, it, you're eternally a, a two third. True, but go go back to that Matthew. Uh, what was I and we gonna go to that. It mean like a like a like a despicable lie, a despicable saying. I'm the guy. <laughs> that is a despicable lie. Uh, Matthew twelve fourteen. Uh huh. Then the Pharisees went out and held a council against him. Uh huh. How they might destroy him. For which are who Israelites? Read. But when Yahushai knew it, he withdrew himself from thence, and the great he, multitude. He left from him. there, and a great multitude followed him. Right. Who, who, now, what did, now, I know you know the answer. Who followed Yahweh Shai? What followed Yahweh Shai? What do they say follow Yahweh Shai? Twelve and nine. Let's go there. John chapter 12, verse nine. Much people of the Jews, therefore, knew that he was there. And they Much came, people of the Jews. Go ahead. And they came not for Yahweh Shai's sake only, but that they might see Lazarus also. I'm sorry, 12 and 19. So, all right. Go ahead. Well, much people to do. Remember that. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> John 12 and 19. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, uh -huh. Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing. Behold, the world has gone after Wait, the, the what has gone after? The world. <laughs> the world. Wait, what's the world? Jim, is what's the world? Oh, okay. <laughs> the world of the elect. The world of the elect, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, either way, either way, the world is Israel. Baba Kusha. Letting you know that. Earth. <laughs> <laughs> and just following Yahweh yeah, Shai. Right. It was it's jewelry. It's what they would call all of jewelry. We need to write that down, man, because I swear, man, we, 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 come, we always forget about the stuff we come the, up with. Hey, hey, the no, world. No. The, the foundation. <laughs> that foundational scriptures. The world follow <laughs> Yahweh Shah. All right, the cos the cosmos. Cosmos. Cosmos follow Yahweh Shah around. The Israel, the Jews got up. You know, nowadays, um, what are the world watches Empire? 
all black people get together and watch Empire or uh, Love and Hip Hop or something like that. What none of them TVs on? Everybody used to wake up and try to go see what Yahweh Zai was doing. Who is he healing? Is he teaching? You know, you get over to get some food. They got food over there, brother. You see what I'm saying? That's what was going on. It wasn't damn uh, uh, the Roman centurions was coming down. That's remember in John 11 they took the council. They said we keep, if this keeps up, then the day gonna come. But they don't even know. They don't even care what's going on in, over here in niggerdom or what you would call Judea. They don't give a damn what's going on over here it's right the same, now. Same thing we saw in Birth of a Nation. They didn't even care what 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 Nat was speaking to the people. They like they sitting in the back just picking at their bill. Like just say whatever to get them to work. Right, right, right. They didn't give a damn. You see what I'm saying? We already had this. See, the reason why the, the, the Gentile mystery is such a mystery is because we were writing this shit like we already, like, we, we, already should get, we should get it. <laughs> you know, but That's right, brother. we didn't perceive there was what well, we knew there was going to be a falling away as far as the disciples and the punishment. Right. Of well, remember, they didn't know at first, though. They had to get told that. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because remember, they were like, it's time. And, yeah, and Yahweh Shai is like, <laughs> nah, you got to remember that certain prophets knew, like Ezra, who knew the world was going to go back to the old silence, seven days. Everybody didn't have that understanding, though, you know. So, but uh, um, it, it's perfect because this ties into something else. Most I will be going to, too. Just dealing with with, with 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 nationhood and citizenship, because those are our kinsmen who didn't necessarily have citizenship. So that's why we looked at them as Gentiles. But we were saying like they still, you know, they have the, their uh, inherited rights, just like our laws. How it's stupid for you to say the law is done away with. That's like saying America's law is done away with. America's law is not. This is a law of a country when you deal with our laws. So this law cannot. It can be done away with. Are you kidding me? Zechariah 7. Uh, 8 13. to 14. When we start back up at 8, we was at like 13. If we was at 13 already, go ahead. Verse 13. Therefore, it, it has come to pass that as he cried, they would not hear. Uh -huh. So they cried, and I would not hear, said mm -hmm. the Lord of hosts. But I scattered them with the whirlwind. So that's why, like, this type of behavior of $400, $750, $1,500 garments, $25 priest fees, uh, twenty percent tie, thirty percent ties. That's the type of stuff that got us scattered like a whirlwind. So you can understand. Go ahead. Among all the nations, uh -huh. whom they knew not, uh -huh. thus the land was desolate after them, uh -huh. that no man <coughs> passed through, no return. You see that? For they laid the pleasant land desolate. That's what happens to us when we do stuff like that. So when Negroes continue in that, and there's another Negro, the Puerto Rican dude, who's talking about he's Jesus Christ. That dude too. He's a perfect example. These guys are one of the damn same. Evil, wicked Israelites that see how the white man does us and emulates what the goddamn white man does and oppresses us. Right? Go ahead. That's it on that? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, oh that's a lot. Yeah, that was it on that. Let me get uh, 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 Leviticus 25 and 17. Book of Leviticus chapter 25, verse 17. Mm -hmm. You shall not therefore oppress one another. You shall not oppress one another. This is a commandment. You shall not do what? Oppress one another. Don't do what they're doing in ICGJC. They are oppressing their brother. Read. But thou shalt fear thy God. Thou shalt fear the Most High. Read. For I am Yahweh, your power. They don't even believe that. That's They don't fear the Most High. So you're going to see the judgment that comes upon them. Because of their lack of fear of the Ezekiel most high. chapter 45, verse 7. And a portion shall be for the prince. Hold on. Who's the prince? This is prophecy. Ezekiel. Who's the prince? Precept. Uh, I can't go back to that. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Prince, how do we prove he's the prince? Show me the prince. Read it for me. Show me he's the prince. You know, well, the prince, that's not talking about JC. You Negroes is in a Greek, you reading a Greek book. <laughs> get the fan, get the fan for that, brother. <laughs> Go ahead, get it. It's Isaiah 96. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a child is born. Read. Unto us a son is given. Uh-huh. Who is the son? These people will tell you everything we say about Yahweh Shai. Is getting ready to get said right here in this verse. 
and they'll tell us we're idolaters. But this is in the Old Testament. Read. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. He gonna rule. Read. Yeah, rule. That with that world. God. Go ahead. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Uh huh. Counselor. Read. The mighty power. Uh huh. The everlasting Father. Uh huh. The Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. So that's the Prince here. I just want to establish that. So let's go back there to Jer uh, Ezekiel. Rather, go ahead. It says. And a portion shall be for the prince for the on the prince. one side, uh -huh. and on the other side. It's talking the, about the kingdom, so y'all understand. Go ahead. And on the other side of the oblation uh -huh. of the holy portion. Read on. And of the possession of the city, mm -hmm. therefore the oblation of the holy portion, and before the possession of the city, from the west side westward, and from the east side eastward. Uh huh. It says, and the length, and the length shall be over. Against one of the portions uh -huh. from the west border unto the east border. Read on. And the land shall be his possession in Israel. Uh -huh. And the prince and my princes shall no more oppress my people. You see that in the kingdom, we're not going to be oppressing each other. But right now, you got guys like Comfy. And like this brother pointed out, there's other individuals that exist, whether they be in the Christian church, in the Muslim, in all aspects of our society, and amongst Hebrew Israelites that are the princes. That are the exalted ones amongst our people that are pressed. In the kingdom, that's that's going to be done away with. But before the kingdom, you're going to have wicked Negroes oppressing people. You said what? And in that instance, prince means a, a, a ruler. It could be uh, uh, also as governor. You understand what I'm saying? A ruler or a leader. No, no, not higher than the king. It's an entirely different word than the king. The word there is nasi in, in the Hebrew. Nasi. I mean, print not Shaw, but Nazi rather. Um, but that's what Yahweh Shah is going to be in that place. So when we in the kingdom, we're not going to be oppressing one another. Until that time, the princes are going to oppress. You're going to have people who are going to be in, a, in an exalted position and they're going to oppress. Not every time, but sometimes it's going to happen. Comfy is a prime example of an oppressor of his people as a prince that oppresses his people. 